Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, first we want to select the chips layers and change the name red. And let's control D for duplicate and move to left go to fx presets search fx hue saturation select hue saturation let's use for red 2 and change name blue and let's change color okay and select this blue layer let's ctrl d for duplicate again change name layer green and move to right also, let's change color saturation for green. Okay, that's good. And let's create new solid layer for background. Add the name background, click OK, and move to behind all these layers and search effect gradient ramp. Select gradient ramp. Let's use for background solid layer and change ramp shape, radial ramp, and go to white color, change to blue. And go to start color, change white like this. Click OK and let's move the down ramp like this. And this point move to down for gradient background. OK, so in this time select background and lock layer. Select these three layers, click for to read the layers. And select this blue layer and green layer, let's press P and move to behind red layer and change quality quarter okay and select this layer green let's move to behind more like this in this time go to view and select v1 okay so let's back to active camera and in this time let's go to here right mouse and in this time let's right mouse new and viewer so right now we have two viewers. Let's select this viewer active camera. Let's change view one. And this is my main camera. And let's create new camera tool. Click OK. OK, I can use camera movements like this here. And select this camera one. Let's right mouse, go to camera and create orbit null for camera movements. And for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon. And right now select this null object, let's press P and move to back like this. Okay, so in this time go to chips elements composition and select the chips layers. Let's copy with Ctrl C back to main composition and Ctrl V. And click this icon for trade layers. Select the Z axis, move to front like this. Let's select these main chips and move to center. And right now select these other chips. Let's press P and move to back. Let's back more and move to here. Select these chips, also move to back, move to here and this. Move to back and move to left and this move to here like this. Okay, so in this time let's Go to FX Presses, search Effect Wiggle and select this Wiggle position. Let's use for Chips 5 and change this 25. Let's go to Solo, Preview Animation. Okay, not bad. And let's use Rotation Wiggle for Chips 5 and change this 10. Let's go to Solo, again Preview Animation. Okay, pretty good. Also, we can use expression for these animations. For example, select this chips 4 and press P. Hold Alt, click this position icon. And right here, wiggle 1, 6. And click this empty for down expression. Let's see. Okay, it works. Let's go to solo. Nice. We can edit here expression. Let's write here 12. Okay, not bad. Select these chips 4. Let's press R, open rotation, 
and hold alt click this Z rotation and right here we go 1 7 and let's see okay not bad so let's unsolo and let's animation And select these main chips layers and right mouse, pre compass, add name, chips main. And click OK. So open compensation and right mouse, compensation settings, change full HD sizes. And click OK. So right now go to FS Presses, search FX Shatter. And select the shatter, let's use for chips layer. And go to view, change this render it and open shape, change bricks to glass. Let's see. Okay, not bad. And back to chips. Let's select the chips compensation. Let's see timing. Okay. So open compensation again. Okay, so and for fix this frame, select this layer and click this icon for work full screen. Okay, and I want to change extrusion deep, go to here and change 0 0.05 for realistic chips per total. Let's see. Okay, so let's open first one and we can place settings here for more natural. Let's see. Okay, and let's change repeaters here. Let's see. Okay, let's change this 50. Nice. And let's select the chips layers. Go for a second and control D. Change name static. And this animation. And select this animation layer. Let's move to right. Select the static layer and let's timing. And we can delete shatter effect for static layer. And go to edit split layer or control shift D and delete. And select this animation layer, let's put here, let's see. Okay, back to chips compensation, let's timing. Nice. So in this time, select this camera orbit null, go to first second and press P, make new pass in keyframe and go to two seconds and let's zoom to layers like this. Okay, so select Q frames, make easy, go to graph editor, select this graph, let's make graph like this, and preview animation. Okay, back to Q frames, let's see timing, and select these two Q frames, let's move to right. Okay, select Q frames, go to graph editor, and make graph smooth here. Okay, and back to two frames, select these chips main and move to the left. Okay, that's good. Let's see animation. Okay, we can move to right a little bit. Nice, and let's go to FS Presses, source effect wiggle. Select Wiggle, select Wiggle position for red layer and change this 25. Let's see. Okay, also use this for blue, change 25. And for green, change also 25. Let's see. Okay, so in this time select this layer green and blue and press P. Let's see, select this green and move to behind red layer. And also blue, let's move to behind red layer. And make new passing Q frames for green and blue layers. Go to fave Q frames and let's move to right this green. And blue, move to left. Okay, select Q frames, make easy. And let's select work area.
Okay, not bad. Select two frames, go to graph editor, and let's select this graph. Make graph like this, also this two frame. Okay, so back to two frames, and go to here. Hold shape, press R, and let's hold Alt, click Z rotation. Open expression right here, wiggle one six. And let's see. Nice. Let's copy this expression and go to blue. Hold Alt, click Z rotation, Control V. Let's say again. Nice, very good. So, let's close these settings and let's prepare timing. Okay, this is first camera animation. And select these green and blue layers. Let's link to red layer. Select red layer and press P. Let's move to front a little bit. Okay, and select this camera layer, go to last G frame and move to behind like this. Okay, pretty good. And in this time, select these blue and green layers, press U and let's see timing. And select these two G frames, move to the left. Nice. Let's preview animation. Okay, so in this time, select this camera and let's create new position two frame. Go to five two frames, and let's zoom to layer and move to blue layer. Okay, like this. Okay, and let's create new position two frame. Go to five two frames and move to right for C chip screen. Okay, go to some two frames, create new position two frame, go to five two frames and select this second two frame, copy pass. And preview animation. Nice, I like it. And in this time, Let's go to last seconds and select these layer green and blue. Make new parts in two frames. Go to here, let's two frames, select first two frames, copy pass. Okay, and let's select two frames. Move to right a little bit and this move to left a little bit. Nice. And select this red layer and press P. Make the passing two frame. Go to some two frames. Let's move to left or move to right. Okay, move to down a little bit. Okay. And in this time, we can add here stickers, logo, or names of products. And let's see timing. Select two two frames, select two two frames, make easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph, make smooth. Back to two frames, select these two passing two frames, move to here. Nice, I like it. So let's go to text and right here, chips. Okay, and go to window, open animation composer 3 and start the presets, text layers, animate characters and let's search here overshot animation, click in, close composition and select this text, let's move to here. Nice. Okay, so in this time let's select these chips layers and let's control D, press P and move to back. Let's see. Okay, 
Okay, we can select this chips layer and control D, move to left here and move to back like this and select this chips 3, control D, press P and move to back like this Okay, control D again, move to here, right mouse, use flip horizontal, chain scale, okay, and chips 3 or chips 1, control D, press P, and move to behind, move to down like this, again control D, move to here. Okay, pretty good. Nice.